Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Tony Rumble, Royal Rumble, from the Combat Zone, the one, the only, Boston Bad Boy, Tony Rumble! Yeah! Thanks, Paul. All right, so uh, before our next match, we've got a lot of luminaries in the room. We've got a couple more matches for you guys, but there are a lot of guys that started with Tony Rumble, that progressed with Tony Rumble, that went on to big things because they worked for Tony Rumble. So uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna pass the microphone over to the man right here to my left, a kid that walked in in 1994 as one half of the Cash Money Boys, the original Cash Money Boy, Vinny Capelli, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Vinny! Hey. Boom! That was the best thing I've ever seen. Great job. Hey, uh, real quick, I just want to say... Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the family of the Tony Rimble. This beautiful morning fellow over here, Ellen, please take that word. I see Michelle, if you're here, Donna, Donna, come here, come here. Holy shit, that's Donna. This is Tony's beautiful Donna, Donna. Ellen, please come in. I post her video on my Facebook page. And I also forgot Tony's great friend, Hunter. Family, I said it earlier. This man right here has been with Tony how many years? Too many to count, probably, Tony would say. Tony's best friend. Donna, Ellen, this is Tony's best friend. Best man at his wedding. Thank you for helping keeping this thing alive. It has been amazing. I just want to say, for myself, 25 years ago, Rich, I met you. We got right? I had the pleasure of walking out, breaking into the business, thanks to Tony. I had the pleasure of working with that man right there, who we're going to call into the ring. Knuckles Nelson, please come to the ring. Eric Sprazier, please come to the ring. Trey, please come to the ring. Leah Knuckles, Wakefield, Melrose, we're a Twitchberry. Everywhere. The original Cash Money Boys, the Brotherhood. The only Brotherhood. The only Brotherhood. We also have in the audience tonight, Sheldon Goldberg, please come in. The Real Deal Joel Davis, please come up here. And two more gentlemen in the back. One is a young man that got his start with Tony, and that would be Bo Douglas. And the other is the only person since Tony's passing that was authorized to use the name Boston Bad Boy. Santa Claus is here. And that would be Jason Rumble. You guys come on out. And we all know what I meant when I said there's only one Boston bad boy, but Jason, you were very fortunate enough to be given the opportunity. Bo, we're gonna let Bo Douglas speak first. No, Bo's not speak. Bo's just here. Bo's running the show, by the way. I just want to mention Rich Landon here at ringside long time, Killer Kowalski referee. Another icon. I, I think uh, things are about to get pretty smooth. I'm so sorry that I shut you down. I think if there's one person in this ring that has earned the right to speak first, and that would be my brother, Knuckles Nelson. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here tonight to remember our friend, the Boston bad boy, Tony Rumble, and one person that should have been included in everything that we just talked about was Mr. Sheldon Goldberg that's standing out here on this side as well. And the one and only thing that I'm gonna say is we are Boston born and Boston bred and we'll be Boston bad till we're Boston dead. a former NWA World Tag Team Champion and a Hall of Famer. And person number two who has earned the right to speak on this mic right now. Eric Sprazier. Come in, brother. Once again, I'd just like to you know, say thanks to my brothers, Sheldon, Donna, everyone, Bull, <laughs> Don't attack, Bull. It's all right. Tony, I love you. I miss your brother. I remember you coming down to my uh, uncle's cellar. I was a little Eric back then. I seen your huge body coming down the, the cave. And it's just, it's sad that you're not here right now. We love you. We miss you. Can I get that? You know, <laughs> you always want to step on my toes over there, bro. Jason, come on up, bro. You keeping this thing going is awesome. Keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boston bad boy, Jason Rumble. Since mid-August, uh, I really had planned on both orchestrating a lot of this stuff because my life has took me six hours north. Uh, my two beautiful kids, my beautiful wife's out here. Life has driven me to a different aspect. <sighs> and then I get a call and uh, a little birdie told me that with this 20 years, the show wouldn't have been a show if I didn't put on the show. So I said, man, I'm going to do it. Because just like 20 years ago, April or May, on Newberry Street, I walked down a driveway and Hunter was still in diapers. <sighs> and I used to put him over right here in this ring. He was already getting victories at one and a half years old, just like my son's out there getting victories at three years old. Uh, and I just remember that day, going down the driveway, and uh, it's like yesterday. And it was Donna, Ellen, and Michelle who's not here this evening. And uh, when you grow up as a kid in Boston, and you'd uh, go to Channel 27 back when you had an old school non-cable box TV with ears, you know, antenna ears, and uh, we'd tune in, and Saturday morning there'd be ICW wrestling, and there was this cool dude with a Boston jacket and a helmet, and I was like, shit, I want to be like him. And... And you know, we get to that. We go to Killer Kowalski's, we go to Killer Kowalski's, and things start to go right. And that man right there, the smooth operating gangster. I was just a punk in the uh, Al Lock Youth Basketball League. Uh, I would. I would say that I smelled, but not that he needed right guard for my smell. He needed axe back then. So for him to take uh, take trust on a kid like me, a punk from Malden, Massachusetts, and go to Tony Rumble and say, these three, four kids, they're up at Walter Kowalski's, Bo Douglas, Louis Ortiz, Slick Wagner Brown, and Jason Rage. Uh, I think you need to take a look at them guys. 
we came in, we got our trial. And uh, this is full circle 20 years, so I'm going to take a couple. One of the best things that realistically happened was about a month ago. And I reached out to that individual right there, Mr. Knuckles Nelson. Hall of Fame, I said I never held any ill will towards him, and I never did, because you were the first guy at Kill Kowalski's that one day, I remember your son Tannen laying out on the metal, uh, the metal fire escape at Kowalski's, and I walked up, and I was early, I was always early, because I wanted this, I wanted this so bad, that that's why I still play in Underoos at 47 years old, you know? <laughs> and you took me in that ring, you kicked the crap out of me, you gave me some stuff, and at the end you go, well, kid, you're pretty good. How long you been doing this for? I go, this is my fourth class. You're like, what the fuck are you doing in here with me? <laughs> but I still hung. And then that man right there, Eric Sprazier. Tony Rumble used to put us in there with the Brotherhood. Me and Slick Wack and Brown all the time, and it didn't matter to me. And I remember one show that I took a vicious powerbomb by Knuckles Nelson, and Eric knew I was a small dude, and I was sitting over in the corner, and he was the first dude that came over to me and said, you know, brother, you don't mean nothing by this. It's the tough love. That's just the way Knuckles is. And like I told Knuckles tonight, I grew up in the 80s, man, and I grew up always the small kid on the football team that nobody ever thought was going to make it, and I made it every damn time because of people like you that would beat my ass into the dirt and make me want it even more so that I could be in the same club as you guys. I'll wrap it up. If I didn't have this family right here, minus one, I wouldn't have met my wife. Where the heck's my daughter? She's with my daughter. And there's my lovely daughter, Jalen. And there's my boy, JD. People say, where's all the money you got from wrestling? Man, I'm a freaking millionaire because I got that family. I have this family that supported me all the way through and made me made me get all the dreams I wanted. When I was a kid, I wanted to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys or a professional wrestler. I didn't get the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys or the professional wrestler. But the third thing that I always wanted, and I ended at this, is I always wanted to be better than my old man, my real dad. Not my Tony, if he was alive, man, that dude is cool as ice. He was like the Fonz, as Pat Doyle would say. <laughs> I just wanted to be better than my dad. There for my kids, there for my wife, there for my family. So like I said to the boys in the back, this may not be GE. 20 years you come to retirement. I ain't retiring, but I'm stepping away a little bit. Bo Douglas has a great school going in, at the Belltown Club in Wakefield. Yeah. Okay. I'll still continue to wrestle somewhat, but my days realistically of promoting are coming to a virtual end. Because I have a great life. I haven't been Jason Delegato for over 22 years. And being Jason Delegato lately is a pretty cool dude. I work at a high school. I got to accomplished a dream this year where I was the head, I was the uh, offensive coordinator for the local high school varsity football team. Yeah. Yeah. This year I'm the freshman basketball coach. Yeah. Then I'm going to be the JV boys baseball coach. And most of all, I get paid to watch a gym <laughs> at the high school. I got a great gig. For 22 years, I got to fulfill my dreams, and now I'm off to fulfill my next dream, and that's to be the best dad in the whole goddamn world. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to tell everybody, thank you very much.
very much for the 22 years you've come out to see me wrestle, that you've come to see me promote. I'll still be around somewhat, but Bo Douglas will gather the backpack, he'll keep it going, and uh, I thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Thank you. While we have this moment, I, there's another brother, I don't know why he's not in this ring. David Doc Angelo, you come up here, brother. You make sure you get recognized, too. The baby face assassin. Slick the brown. Slick wag the brown. If you're dressed, come out here, brother. The demon Ortiz. The demon Ortiz. If you're dressed, come out here, brother. If you're not dressed, still come out here. Come on out here. Right, Apocalypse! Right. Get your behind in here! The strong man, Gino Martino! Get your behind out here! Can you believe we had no format for all of this tonight? Joel Davis is already out here! Alright, Gino! The big stick, Mark Green! Get your behind in here! Anybody else? We got anybody in here? We have anybody in here? I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. And how many times do I have to say it? The best unsigned talent on the planet. My brother, I want to thank you. So this, this has to be said. This is for Tony Rumble, who is the leader, the founder, and the president of the Brotherhood. Well, with that being said, we don't want to lose anybody. We just quick, 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 five minute intermission so people can take a pee and poop and drink over at the bar. See my buddy, get yourself a beer. Go over to Nick's Comic. Get, no, there's no food, just print, man. <laughs> go Montana Pitches. Go buy some stuff. Five minutes, we got three more votes. Let's go, baby, yeah! And anybody, don't leave the I gotta go to the bathroom. Baby Betsy, can we get a picture of everybody up here in the ring, please?